What's happening? What's happening? Welcome. Appreciate y'all for joining the player. Right here. This is the Willie Williams Show. I am Willie Williams. In case you're new around here, go ahead on and subscribe. For those of you who may watch it on the replay from somewhere else, please subscribe to the Willie Williams Show live channel. I really would appreciate it. And please remember to go to the WillieWilliamsShow.com. That is the website where everything goes up before it even hit YouTube. In case you just want to be ahead of the times, that's what's up. We really do appreciate it. Just getting things situated. Round here, so I can go ahead and do a little something, talk about a little something. Birmingham, Alabama is in the house. Philly done made it on in this thing. That's what's up. Um, <clears throat> Chicago is in the house. See, I got my snacks ready. Chicago in here. Hey, sugar. Tyler, Texas is in the house. Hey, sugar. Chicago is in the house. What's happening, Pippa? From Fayetteville, North Carolina, checking on in here. New Orleans is in the house. 504. Hey, sugar from North Carolina. That's what's up. New Mexico is in this thing. Say live. Live from LA. What's happening? What's good? St. Louis is reporting for duty. Hey, sugar. Massachusetts is in the house. All right. Hey, Willie, what's up? Coming straight out of Cleveland, Ohio. That's what's happening. Put Pasadena, the 626 is back in this thing. Hey, sugar out of Central Florida. Hey, sugar out of Naptown is in this house. Man, man, what's happening? Up to California, I made on in this thing. I appreciate all y'all for joining me. Remember when you come on in, go ahead on and press that like button and share this thing. Let some people know what's transpiring, what's going on. Some things about to be talked about. St. Louis is in the house. Arkansas, did you do a show on condom sack? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, um, I wasn't feeling up to it, and I like to be in a certain mood before I actually do videos that that way I feel better with what I'm doing, and I don't come out here and speak in the way I should not, or I don't think I should be speaking, because it's the way I like to do things. So, no, no, no. Hold on. Player got some sound. Player got some sound. Well, hey, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um... We're going to do something a little bit different. Like I told the people, uh, like I told y'all like a while back, that um, I am going to do a show to where people, I will allow people to call in and question me on 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 my non-belief because a lot of people say that they, will, they have questions for me because a lot of folk have never actually seen a Dr. Hugh player be a non-believer uh, and or don't subscribe to any type of religious doctrine that's out there. Uh, shout out to the St. Louis um, husband and wife team, St. Louis, Missouri, off the south side. Hey, sugar, that's what so you say. Pacifiers, <laughs> ready for this one? Oh, we gonna talk about my pimp player, Passive Partners, that side there. Um, happy Sunday, freaking one turn. Turn about just I can't pronounce that. Georgia is in the house. Hey, sugar. The 256 Alexander City is in the building. That's what's up. He said, I hate involving them folks, but call 12. He said, I'll be looking forward to these live chat. Man, listen, I appreciate y'all for joining the player. The number is circulating across the top. Well, but how we going to do it? Because you don't got to call in right now. Listen to me. Let me explain. After I do pass them. Then I'm gonna go ahead on and take some calls. Make a call short. Just say what you need to say. Question. Do whatever you need to do. Cause I had promised folk that that's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I'm gonna do. The number is streaming at the top. Um, and once you get in, if you have a question, once I finish doing what I'm doing, I will start answering phone calls for those of you who just might have something to say about what I'm gonna say. They say still we're coming from STD Friday. That's what's up. At least you. You is an and and participant. Big word. That's what's up. Hey, sugar, much love from Boston. That's what's happening. Everybody on here need to hit that like button. Rightfully so, Fifi. That's what's up. I need people to go on and do that. Hey, sugar. Half of Connecticut that made on in the building. Listen, we been going on to get on into it. He said, pastor going to have to be put in protective custody. Show enough for show enough. That's what's up. And what we talking about what 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 they say had them transpire out of him they said more charges for a minister who got a teen pregnant twice dose <laughs> two times <laughs> what we're gonna say. and she had abortions what a s plural not singular that's what's up memphis done made on in this thing see and this is gonna fade right on into my no unbelief, but I'm going to go on and get on into it. Um, 
shout out to the young lady who had done sent me this story. Um, I do appreciate it because I did tell her that I'm going to have to do this live. So that's what I tend on doing. But they say <laughs> one of my pimp player past partners out here out of South Carolina, a minister was arrested, arrested at the South Carolina church on Wednesday for sexually abusing a minor that he got pregnant twice. That what they say. Um, Philip, Phil, 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 J- J- Gerard Buxton, that's what they say, was charged with four counts of second degree criminal sexual conduct with a minor. The sheriff's office, office released it in a news release. But on Thursday, the six foot eight, he's six eight, 190 pound minister um, had his bond set at 20,000 on on the combined charges, according to the jail records of the Spartanburg, Spartanburg County Detention Center, um, another second degree criminal sexual conduct. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah. Criminal sexual conduct with a minor charge was filed against Buxton on Thursday. This one from G- Gaffney Police Department. Um, yada, 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 yada. Oh, 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 oh. The Gaffney police said the new charge is related to another incident with the same minor two charges same minor let's go on and we're gonna talk about it and buxton could face more more charges um in that jurisdiction per the newspaper the 30 year old the the 32 year old i'm pivot 32 from boiling springs a man confessed to sheriffs confession he gave a confession now, but they said sheriff um, deputies after he was arrested at his church. <sighs> Pastor at Cleveland Chaplain Baptist Church, according to his website, Buxton has two children, according to the bio on the church website. Now, investigators received tips about the criminal activity from the National Center for Missing Children and Exploited Children on January 30th. The victim was located and said she provided investigators with a detailed statement. She talked about it, according to the news release. In her statement, the victim said that she began having sexual intercourse with Buxton at his Cherokee County residence in October 2015. When she was 13 years old, according to the incident report, she continued to have sexual intercourse multiple times with Buxton, and the ninth grade student became pregnant on two occasions. So, so, but both times she became pregnant, she had abortions to terminate the pregnancy, according to the incident report. A star basketball player, which Buxton was, um, a part of the state championship team um, um, at Gaffney, high school he went on to play college basketball for spartan spartanburg methodist according to the story but according um but after joining the ministry he preached in other states across south across the south including georgia illinois north carolina virginia and tennessee according to the website that's what they say that 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 that's what they say and um hell they 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 went on ahead on the pick on up a player. I'm, I'm, I'm going on. Let's see. Mr. Buxton, do you have anything to say about these allegations? Is it true you had sex with a 13-year-old girl? What do you have to say to the congregation at your church? Are these allegations true? Do you have anything to say for yourself? That's what's up. So they apprehend. They took a man. They put the braces on him to take him on vacation. So he has some people to go on and talk to when he get down there. Um, 
and explain the situation because that's what they said. Um, he has admitted to it. He he he's not denying it. He's he's not in denial for his actions. Taking responsibility. That's 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 what us as adults supposed to do out here, male and female. Supposed to take responsibility for your actions. I think that that's one thing that really shows your maturity. Your 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 maturity level. Hey, hey, sugar, straight out of Texas, and say, "Will the black folks will give him like that?" Did Eddie? Long? Oh, 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 they yeah, they folk gonna give him a pass. Don't, don't, don't. Don't get it twisted. Say, I bet the church is mad at the minor. Oh, I can truly believe that. Hey, sugar, oh, out of Texas. Cincinnati is in the house. Hey, sugar, out of Dallas. Responsibility of being a fool. Well, 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 at least he's responsible. At least, he's, see, see, but this is what I be saying. We need people to be able to speak honestly about their likes and dislikes, about the things that they really want to do, and that way we know how to deal with people because in society, we sh we push back on truth. We push back on, oh, that's immoral. You shouldn't say that. And then uh, certain people will do certain things that you say yourself that you wouldn't do, but for a lot of folk behind closed doors, we'll do shit that we say out in public that we won't do. Say, pimps of the pool pit, North Carolina is in the house. Says free clinic Sunday. All right now. <laughs> He's a damn shame and he fine as a mother. <laughs> the lady now, now fella is a ladies man. Now he handsome fella. You say abusing God to get that booty. <laughs> hey, many men like little girls. I'm so glad you said it. A person with a vagina. 90 seconds. Oh hell. What is she talking? You want to talk that up? Oh, because I did something wrong right there. But, uh, yeah, many, many people, many people do not believe or say what you're not supposed to be attracted to. It, it's strange. We put a number on things and we say, hell, well, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. All right, cool. We got laws out here and laws should be followed, and I do understand that. That's exactly what needs to happen. The laws need to be followed. Fellas out here need to go out on and follow the laws or you will be sat down for a minute because there's laws in place. Say so people need to stop being so trusting with people in general, but you definitely got to pay attention to them in church because it's a lot of wolves and sheep clothing all up in church. Yes, it is. You say it just make me want to get more guns. All right, now. That's what's up. Listen to me. Absolutely correct. That's what I be trying to talk about. Well, people think it's strange that I speak on taboo, which taboo is what will kind of keep your chair from getting impregnated twice and having two abortions. Yeah, 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 yeah. It never spoke on parenting. It never spoke on, well, where was the parents? Is there a father there? Is there a mother there? Did anyone say anything about that? The community, as far as the reports that I have read, no one said anything about the parents. Typically, it would be in my mind. It's just in my opinion. It would be a mother. In my mind. Because again, it's like somebody even spoke on it. Uh, oh, handsome fella. <laughs> and yes, it is. Now, I would think that the older, the older babies out here in the church would, would put the blame on the minor because a lot of them um, thought that they had a chance. They thought they had a chance to pass. That, 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 that's really what I think is going on. They thought they had a pass. They thought he was checking them out because they come in with the short skirts and the nice hats. I get it. They're trying to praise the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They're using the Lord to get some dingling. Come on, that is what it is. Got to use what you got to get what you need. I get it. You say he gonna be outside the gates waiting on, <laughs> waiting to get in. Listen, I am outside the gate. Listen, oh, in case y'all knew around here, I'm gonna be outside the gates of heaven. Free drinks for the first million people. I'm gonna have Tisha and all that shit to kind of explain to you why you ain't gonna get in there. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be there for real. But Augusta George is in the house. Um, exactly. Mama probably sleeping with him too. All right, now talk about it. Young girls talking up in grown men's face and vice versa. I see it all the time. Exactly. Society want us to believe that what we see is not what we see. I know, I know. 
put the blame on the pastor. I get it. You're an adult. You're grown. <laughs> oh, all right. But if only grown folks are the ones who out here who's supposed to be having sex, huh? come on. <laughs> come on, church. Talk to me. <laughs> then minors shouldn't be having sex and or becoming parents. I will always say that. I'm always stand on it. If we use the excuse of, well, he's an adult. He should know better. He's an adult. He's a parent. <laughs> That's what's up. So I blame the parents or guardians. <laughs> That's where I'm going with it. I got to blame parental guidance. I know, I know. He wrong according to the law. That's what's up. South Cackalack in the house. He is wrong according to the law. I, I'm, I'm not arguing that. That's not going to be my argument around here. Sure enough ain't. Let me go ahead on and get the phone lines together. Let folk know what's going on. Let me see what I get. Log Talk oh. Radio. Please enter your host pin. When finished, Hold press on. the pound key. Because I'm going to need for the folk to talk to me. Because folk, they, they, they be having questions. To start your show now, press 1 to hear me. Your show is scheduled to so, start in 32 seconds. Yeah. Tell her how is in the house. You say, how, how many players have said this? She going to be fine when she get up. I'm trying to tell you. Two more mango seasons. Come on now. But, but we act like... Ain't nobody watching your little girls and ain't nobody watching your little boys. That's what we act like because your show will society, go live in five seconds. Four. We want to present. Two, we want to present one. us as having some type of morals to where this type of shit ain't happen. Well, it was depending on the old or new testament as well for the child's age. According to the Bible, <laughs> we going to go there. According to the Bible, as long as you had a period, you read it. Damn the mango season, you read it. So shout out to God and um, God for inspiring men to go ahead on and throw that off in the book. That's what's up. Because the book's supposed to be able to teach you something. You know, to get you in the right moral state of mind. That's what's happening. Um, if um, um, I believe that that was in the Old Testament. I, I do believe that that was in the Old Testament. Hey, hey sugar. He said, Ye, these young girls out here is willing and ready. Hell, they always been willing and ready. See, it's a misconception thinking that because mm, a certain age that they ain't ready. That's why a lot of parents need to actually have talks with their minors, with their children, the one that they claim they love. But as I will continue to say, <laughs> well, can we play too goddamn much? What it do from L.A. is in the house. Now, how was he able to have sex with her, first of all? Let's just throw that out there. How was he able to have sex with her? How was he able to, in, well, we all know how an impregnating, an impregnation happens. We get it. Well, you know, religion is fake. I feel you, player. <laughs> that, that's what's up. He said, as soon as nipples pop, men start sniffing around. It, damn it, there's something in there, ain't it? I'm trying to tell you something, y'all. Stop acting like this. But I know that you want to keep, keep your friends and your family and all that fly stuff because... We got morals out here. That's what's up. Um, parents need their behinds beat raw for allowing their child to be alone with adults who aren't immediate family. <laughs> Let me explain something else. That's a good point. <laughs> but family is more attracted to family before people even make it outside to be attracted to your family. <laughs> the same people in your family are ready to smash. But because we've been taught not to do certain things, and shout out to the ancestral community out there. I do support the adults. Um, Cause in adults in ancestral behavior, you go ahead on to do you live your best life, get it on in. Um, question: What was that in the old? I I don't. I'm not sure, Jason, but I do believe that it was in the Old Testament. I'm not sure, but y'all. Y'all right in the um, chat room where y'all find that. Notice there's more babies in church than players. I see why that is now. Yeah, the, these babies want a good man, and they look at pastors as good men. Show enough do all day long. 
a lot of girls is groomed. I'm going to talk about it. A lot of girls is groomed to be, to, 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 to attract a man. A lot of girls was taught, you find you a good man. You find you a man who got his stuff together. And typically, if you tell a young girl to find a man with his stuff together, it's typically not a man that is their own age because they ain't lived long enough to have shit. So my child will be watching church on TV <laughs> when I have, well, I'm trying to, hey. But, hey, but, but good parents be with their children. Good parents don't allow their children to just... Go ahead on off and get the word and get some healing and get touched on all the flesh. No, 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 no. Not in the house of the Lord. That, 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 that's, that's not what parenting is supposed to be. But we do parenting according to what we think parenting should be. Get it? To be or not to be, that is the question. You say, don't worry. The government is going to make birth control mandatory soon until age 18. In some countries, you cannot consent under the age of 21. Hell, in a, that, there's a country to where you can't consent to tell you're married. <laughs> this is off. I hate to live in that country. Hell no, because people be willing and able. I'm going to go to throbbing. It is what it is. That, that meat go to throbbing on players. So let's not act like it's just the babies. This thing go both ways. This thing go both ways. And and again, yeah, he wrong according to the law. How was he able to have multiple sex with a 13-year-old? Mind you, for years. You're 15 now, I think. 15 and, 15 and got pregnant twice with two abortions. Somebody had a row earlier. How was she able to get an abortion without parental consent? Talk about it. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to tell you. That's why I never believe in going to church. Churches is churches in the heart. You can go read the Bible right at home on the couch. You are absolutely correct. You know what? Let's be real, y'all. This ain't the first time. It won't be the last. You damn right. Hell, the majority of females on earth was. The majority of minors on earth was has been sexually attracted to adults. I know. <laughs> Shocking, ain't it? <laughs> I know. Cause you was once a minor and you liked it a star out there, entertain us some, and you're like, shit, I get to. But we'll play like we did. That, that, that's what's up. Well, how many others have he done with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since he's been to many other churches in other cities and state. Hell, I can say a hell of a lot of them. Because he kept getting away with it. So you do until you get caught. I guess that's the game out here. Parents can't be around all the time and pass a know it. Like at choir practice, your child learning. He <laughs> said, your child learning, all right. Damn sure is. Sex, sex education. If it was already taught in home, you, you wouldn't need this type of teacher. Mm-hmm. You say, yeah, and he just got caught this time. Yeah, and that's just why I want to talk to my pimp player, past partner. Listen, you were doing fine up until you got caught, pimp. Parenting allowed this. But I know, I know people thought process, well, well, well. He should be able to restrain himself. You're right. That's not my argument, but you're right. He know better. You, 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 you. You right. The, the adult knows better. You right. So does the age make you an adult or you having children make you an adult? Which one? Is, is the 32 make you an adult? Cause I know some grown ass babies out here. I just want to try to tell you something. Bible study Sunday is how to catch a predator. All right now. Because if we're gonna talk about grown and adulthood, then adults should be the only ones again participating in sexual activity. Let alone being a parent. Pastor giving him some butt right now before all you can 
eat buffet. <laughs> Listen, I got the lines open right now. I'm willing to take calls. I'm willing to stretch over the 30 minutes. Now's the time to go on the call in. If you got a question for me, listen, we're going to go in and out. This ain't going to be drawn out. This ain't what we're going to do because I want to come back a little bit later and go on and talk about something else. You say, well, I still think about the video you posted about pastor that pulled the lady's panties down to <laughs> talking about blessing the coach. <laughs> say, what they pumping in the food in these church? I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> It got to be an award in the air or something like that right there. It's something going on out here. Something is transpiring. But that's why I be pointing out, a lot of these babies need guidance. But hashtag we don't need no daddies. We don't need the proper coaching. We don't need the proper training. We don't need the proper nothing. All we need to do is just have feminine influence as we come up. I don't trust the church anymore. That's why I stopped going. All right, now. High Point, North Carolina is in high. Hey, hey, sugar. That's what's up. I don't think anybody have any any of those questions for me that I be getting the emails about. <laughs> it's cool if you don't. I really ain't tripping. I really ain't tripping. When you call on in, you go ahead on and press that one if you have a question for me. And listen, we're going to be quick. We're going to be quick. I'm throwing that. I don't care what you ask me. You can go ahead on and ask me. Um, a point, yada, yada, yada. Okay, okay. All right, hell, yeah. we got a call on the line. 909 at 981. What's happening? Ask me what you need to. What's up, Brother Willie? It's Nothing DJ much, Disco much. in the house. Uh, I just got a question, man. What, what, what made you become a non believer, man? Was it something that happened to you? Was it an event, or well, what happened? Well, I always um, was a thinker a long time. And um, back in the day, coming up in the South, it's like you really couldn't question anything because you'll damn near get slapped in your mouth for questioning for, um, for what people say. You question God and all that stuff there. And you don't question the Lord. We, we all know how that go. But um, I was just paying, paying attention. And I never really read it as, as an adult until I got about like 25, 26. And... The first time I read it, I actually cried. Like, actually read the Bible for myself. I actually cried. Because I was shocked. There's some things that's in that book that is not being taught in church. And then you find out that God is a murderer, and that's what's up. But things typically that, that really didn't add up for me. Well, okay, okay. I got you on that. Because for me, mm -hmm. I'm going to say this real quick and get off. But for me, it was a lot of events in my life that didn't happen make me a non-believer you know yeah. so then i did like you i read the book man and i was just so shocked and, and so in so much disbelief man i just like hey this ain't for me yeah i gotta i gotta look and see for myself and read for myself and educate myself on the real truth exactly exactly you know yep yep man but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off man i just want to say keep up the good work bro i love your show man and my family loves you and Hey, just keep it up, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Play and I appreciate the call. I appreciate the call. I'm going to put you back in the queue then. All right. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. A question. We come on in. Just go ahead on the exit. And we keep this thing moving. Hey, hey, sugar out of Houston, Texas, checking in. And I just throw out a few things. It, 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 it's, um, um. If you was born or raised in any other family in any other country, you you typically you would not be a so called Christian. It that's that's just a fact. You had to be taught about your God, you had to be taught about the religion, you had to be taught about spirituality, you had to be taught about spirits. You needed a book, like it's not innate of you knowing what a God is or what Jesus is, or the story in itself. I think that if a God is that all that i think you could have just made us with it already in us you didn't have to pass it through people when even the book tell you like basically you don't follow man but you put the word in man's hands which is where the problem at this is why i'm saying this uh um, where was god when she was having orgasms with a pastor i know i know 
That one that throws you off. As if you can't. But yeah, yeah. Was God looking in? Because they say that God is um, omnipresent. Was God looking in when Pastor was putting down the little game on the little something something? They say the Lord watch everything. And if he watching everything, I think that that's kind of strange. In my mind, because if we want to talk about adult being of a certain age, well, well, isn't the Lord older than earth itself? Older than life itself? But he watching us fandangle down here. Now we watching us getting it in. He watching the grown be with the young, or the grown be with the ungrown, the adults be with the minors. He watching it all the time. That's what's up. Just turn the channel. Yeah. Hey, sure got a little to North Carolina. Uh huh. Once we were brought to this country, we was robbed of our true religion all day long. All day long. See, I like baby back ribs with scrimps too much to. To take the word literally, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I, listen. I need proof. That's just it. To the Lord, Lord, if you're up there or any one of you gods that's supposed to be the one, the only, the only living true God, just all out of player. <laughs> I need to see something. Don't show me a natural disaster. <laughs> all that flashing. No, you already know what I need for, well, hell. If God show himself, or God know what it takes. But they say that this is not a God of confusion, which is strange, because you know that once people got the book and people had their own mind, you know the thing for themselves, because they say free will. That's what's up, really ain't tripping. You would have known that people going to question some shit, and you would have known that people, especially in this day and time, is going to need more than a book. I'm just saying. So that's where I go with it at, but... I think that the people at the abortion clinic like Pastor. Hell, Pastor probably approached the abortion clinic as she's like a runaway or something, like a stray or something. He went on head on and taking her in. He probably presented it like that. Well, this young girl doesn't have anybody to provide for. Hell, he probably signed the papers as a guardian in him. Down. <laughs> I won't put it past him. Read the book, How to Turn a Negro. Christian. So I always had questions until I read the book. Listen, shout out to my Lighter Hue brothers. I heard one of my Lighter Hue brothers say many, 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 many years ago, if you want, the fastest way to become an atheist is to actually read the Bible. I was, come on, come on now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I read the Bible. I'm just, that's how it happened with me. Say, when my mother and preacher said, wait, wait. When my mother and preacher said all went wrong over an apple, I never went back to church trying to tell you. This shit done fell apart because of an apple. No, 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 well, the book don't say apple, but that's how they were teaching us in church that it was an apple, but it just said fruit. Somehow they came up with apple. I guess people really like apples because I like, like green, green apples more than red apples. So that's what's up. That's what's up. You said... I said this before, if God let me hit the numbers once or twice, I know who I, um, oh, he said, I know he was real or he's for real. He say, I take the money and get Willie his machine and 10% to the church and live like a king. I'm trying to tell you, listen. If any time this month or some Lord, you want to give me them lottery numbers, <laughs> believe in me, I will open, a, I will proselytize, big word, out here in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I'm already an ordained minister. Sarah so finally caught one. I'm watching from M Town. I love your show, big bro. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate. Hell, we got another caller with another question. Oh well, well, you gotta press the one. You gotta press the one. If you wanna ask me something, you go out on to press the one, and we can get right to it. But I'll wait on you. Um, Mary was between twelve and fourteen. I keep trying to say it. When she got pregnant with Jesus, I know they said. She didn't have sex, but if she was giving Jesus between 12 and 14, that had to be the law. 
I'm going to throw this out and then I'm going to answer this phone line. God, which is the Father, created everybody, which make him the Father of people. God had prayed that his daughter, which is married between the age of 12 and 14 because they can't narrow it down to a specific date. Cool. That's what's up. Mary had a boyfriend, or as it speaks in the Bible, you don't have a boyfriend. Whoever you're having sex with typically is your husband. And she told Joseph, which is the first step, Daddy, that she pregnant by the Lord. And people went with the story. Could your old lady come around you and tell you that she got pregnant by the Lord? I'm just saying, we're going to go ahead on to the next caller, 903-944. What's happening? What's your question? Hey, Willie, this is Cece from Tyler, Texas. How are you? I'm all right. And you, hey, sugar. That's what's up. Hey, sugar. <laughs> yeah, I was wanting to know that, um, you know, as a non-believer, you sure know a lot of the word, but my question is, when you two keep tripping and taking all your channels down, what keeps you motivated to start new channels? Oh, well, because I just believe that I've put in so much work. Really, I like to do videos. I really just like to do videos. It's kind of like a therapy for men because I read a lot and and um, practice make better and stuff. Like, I am not the best one to do it. But I like to work on speech and all that stuff and try to be a better presenter with it, with some laughter in it. But I really just like it. That's really it. And we enjoy it, and we want you to keep up the good work because we are enjoying your channel, as you can see. Oh, I appreciate it so much. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you later. That's what I'm talking about. I need y'all to holler at a player. Anything you want to add, it don't matter. Appreciate it. I sure don't do. Yeah, but um, God impregnated his daughter. People don't look at it as like an ancestral relationship or something like that right there. I'm just saying, hell, and, and she didn't consent. He forced her to carry baby Jesus. She had a man already. In the book refers to Jesus is that David's son. Who is Jesus' daddy? Is <laughs> I just thought I saw him. I don't know. Well, the way of 2020 made correction and instructions great again. I'm trying to tell you. Detroit is in the house. That's what's up. You say you, in, you innovate a big word. That's what's happening. I'm just saying. So that's just why I jump on into it. That hell, um, in my mind, the majority of believers are non-believer Christians, because you can't follow the book. You can try. I know. Do your best. You under grace. I get it. The New Testament, you you under grace, but all the laws and the rules is in the Old Testament that you're supposed to still follow. Being under grace eliminates the Old Testament. You know, that's how people be talking to me out here. Don't none of that stuff apply because we fall under grace. That's what's up. You stop tithing. I'm, 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 I'm just saying something. If you have a question, you got to press that one to where the lady on the other side say, you are now in the host queue. You say you got three fathers so far. I'm trying to tell you <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't, with people. People is afraid to ask basic questions. And hey, uh, let me explain something to folk who have questions about their God or religion or their belief system. Your book says, so as a man thinketh, he is. So you thought you ain't did nothing wrong by having a thought. But you think you do something wrong with asking a question. Hell, you done already messed up by having a thought. You might as well ask the question in my mind. Let's go back to the phone lines. Um... 860 What's happening? Hey, sugar. Hey, sugar. What's good? 
This is Anika calling from Hartford, Connecticut, oh, in the I building. I appreciate it. What you got for me? All right. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to say to you, I don't care that you're not a believer. I love you because you're my brother. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say that first. Keep doing what you're doing. You're a mouthpiece, believe it or not. You're a mouthpiece. You're real. I love, I love everything. You're just real. And I feel like we're all on the road to the truth. Because if that wasn't the case, then we wouldn't talk about the things that we talk about and question the things that we are questioning. And I think that we're all going to find the truth in our African religion. Mm -hmm. yep. That's where it's at. I can agree. So I, um, I can't agree. You know, I just feel like we 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 on that right road, and no matter how we get there, uh, we gonna get there. And I really believe that it is gonna be through the African religion. So you keep being a mouthpiece. You keep on speaking and freely and thinking how you thinking and questioning how you questioning because we're all doing it. And some people just don't want to admit to it. And it's okay. We gonna be all right. We need to just come together. We all need to unite. Let's just agree to disagree. We all not going to believe the same and, and think the same and all of that. Let's just focus on uniting. Exactly. I think that's the bigger picture. And that pastor is just straight pimping. He ain't working for no God or the other. He working for himself. Exactly. It's about getting paid. And I'm glad he got caught. And a lot more of these niggas and females need to get caught. That's why I stopped going to church. I refuse to subject me and my children to that bull crap. All right? I'm going to read my Bible at home, and I believe that we're, we will all be led. Period. Point blank. Yeah. I love you. Oh, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. And it, it don't matter how many channels they shut down. We going to keep subscribing, and we going to keep supporting our brother. I appreciate that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I can agree with all that. And I'm out. Oh, thank Have you. a good day, good night, and I will be waiting for the next live. Oh, thank you very much for the call. I appreciate you. I'm out. I appreciate you. You have a good day. All right. All right. That's what's up. The number strolling across the top, y'all. If y'all want to go ahead on and get your call on in and go ahead on and have a, um, just go ahead on and press the button and then I'm going to go ahead on and get to you as many people as possible. Um, we're going to go to the 901 488. What's happening? What it do? Nothing much. Nothing much. What's good? Man, nothing else is, uh, man, I've been watching you for a while, man. I I I I peep what you what you got going. I love your content, man, because you mix the truth. It, it, it's so funny because it's true, and and you know, I can feel the knowledge and the playerism, even though there ain't no word. But I'm gonna say big word. Big word. That's what's up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yes, sir. You know, I I put my key, I put my kids on, and I put my wife on. And then you, like I said, you put an interest in twist on the truth, man, because without correction and instruction, this would be a messed up world, you know what yeah. I'm saying, if you really think about it, yep. and that's what's missing from the world, correction and instruction, man, so just keep doing what you're doing, man, and you lighten up my day with your videos, man, and, and then I get that truth that you're putting out there, too, at the same time, so, yeah. you know, yeah. as long as everybody see the truth, they go with the comedy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you and your family for watching, man. I really do. Really do. And Ten thank four. You. Keep it up. All right. And thank you for the call. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I appreciate y'all. Y'all y'all know I do. Because um, YouTube around here faking and shit, having me all depressed for like a few seconds and shit, and then I got to bounce back and get back to reality. I got to be on earth, and y'all know a player got to be sober. I can't smoke it. This shit's ridiculous. I be about to cry sometime. I'm just saying. I don't just want to be on earth like that right here. Just saying. <laughs> That's all, man. Listen. Sugarland is up in this thing. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, and if you just drop it on in, we talking about Pastor. Pastor done got called out there pimping. Um, pimping with a minor. Pimping with a minor. Impregnating. Impregnating a minor. Um, dealing in a relationship from the time that the child was 13 years old. Been going on for a few years. Impregnated twice. And 
got two abortions. Um, and hell, we don't care about the little glad chair. I keep trying to tell people, Alexander City is in the house. That's what's up. We don't care nothing about these damn children. Now, now I know a lot of people say, I don't believe in abortion. I don't believe in abortion. Well, when you talk about I don't believe in abortions, let me just explain something to you. I don't believe in abortion. That comes from a religious thought process. That's a belief thought process. An abortion is nothing to believe. An abortion is a fact. So we don't need belief. I'm, 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 I just be thinking. I'm just saying, Shot Town is in the house via Dallas, Texas. That's what's up. That's all I'm trying to say. And it's funny because a lot of people who actually say that they don't believe in abortion actually go get abortion, but they don't tell you that they done had abortions. Not all, a few, a lot, because the numbers, especially for dark you sisters out here in the community, got millions of abortions. And I'm pretty sure some of the millions have said that they was non believers of abortion. So, yeah, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just throwing something else out there. Okay, we're going to go to the 917 484. What's happening? <coughs> Hey, Willie. <laughs> hey, sugar. What's happening? <laughs> this is Angela calling in from Northern California. Oh, hey, how you doing? What you got, Bubba? I'm doing, I'm doing good. I want to ask a question that's not related to religion, but um, I've been following you for a long time, and I'm a Patreon. Oh. And uh, you had this video. <laughs> you had this video where you named the characters. One was Mabel, and she was mad at her husband about that car. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I got to find that video. I, I still got that video. I, was, I got to find that video. Oh, my gosh. I was hoping if you could put that up on Patreon, because I shared that video. When you came out with that one, that one just cracked me up so much. <laughs> yes, I will try to find that one. Oh, Mabel. <laughs> yes, yes. Man, I but I love what one. you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah they that have, was, they that have was... taken down so many channels with a lot of the good stuff that I had out there too. It was, it was a lot right. of good videos I had, and I just didn't feel mm, like putting some yeah. things back up. You know, right? But I will right. look for it. Well, I hope you can. Okay, I hope you can put that on Patreon because um. That was one of my favorites, and uh, I just been following you a long time. I love what you do, Thank you. and um, <clears throat> and uh, just keep up the good work. <laughs> I will, I will, and I really appreciate you calling in. <laughs> I do. Oh, you welcome. You welcome. I can't wait till the next live, but I'm gonna get on off of here, and I just want to just pop in and say hello. <laughs> All righty, and you have a good day, and thank you for the call again. I appreciate you. All right, no problem. Watch it. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, man. <laughs> That's okay. what I'm talking Bye. about. I just love y'all. I need y'all to keep calling the player. That's what's up, and we're going to try to work on this to get our broadcasting system thing working um, up to par. You know, I'm trying to get up there to what, like it. I don't know who to throw out the hell. Um, I guess my lighter you brothers because um, they do like a very good job. Hell, I got a lot of Doc you brothers that do a great job in radio, and I should say that also. Just brothers from the light of you, Doc you perspective. I mean, they're good at what the hell they do, because a lot of people have had form formative training. I think the big word, I think that what I'm supposed to go on and say, hey, hey, sugar, and since I've only had a minute lesson in broadcasting i've just been trying to catapult that in a certain way but let me go ahead and get back into it ladies are just loving hey sh I, I, mean, I try to get to he say my best walk by when willie said hey sugar and she turned right back around <laughs> that's what's up that's what's up i appreciate it showing up dude oh i got to find that maple video because i i remember exactly what she's talking about I remember exactly what she's talking about. Listen, I used to come down hard on Christians. I used to come down hard on Christians once I read the book five times. And again, I cried like a baby. Yes, I did. I cried like a baby because I couldn't believe exactly what I was reading and things that was in there actually was not taught in all my years. Mind you, I came up in the church. Mind you, I've had a stepfather who was actually an, an, 
an elder, pastor, preacher, all that shit. And I was in church six, seven days a week. So that's how I came up. But actually read it as an adult and once experiencing life and really seeing what's going on, I was like, ain't no one hell of that shit true. But I, once I got educated in it, really studied in it, I went to going so hard at people. But after a year of that, because I was still hurt. I, 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 a player was hurt. I felt lied to. And, 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 and that's really what you go through. You go through uh, feeling, feeling used and abused because everybody in your life done lied to you, especially about this one topic. But once you go to read it for yourself and then you really understand what, what's been going on, and now you can make your own decision. My problem is the, I think it's 93 to 95% of believers have never read, never read their doctrine completely for themselves, by themselves, for themselves, from cover to cover. That's a problem. When you see an exit sign, did a man have to write a book on what an exit sign mean? Nope, <laughs> you absolutely correct. Hey, 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 sugar, that's what's up. He said the pastor must watch the Bible and R. Kelly because he must think this is okay to do. Listen. There's a lot of adults who having sex, right now as we're talking, having sex with a minor, right now. The reason people will continue to go through with it because you can get away with it. Some get away with it for life. Some people get something on vacation. That's a fact. We can't even argue that. There. That's what goes on out here because people is attracted to who they is attracted to. The problem is we in society lie and tell people what you shouldn't be attracted to. That's some dumb shit. In j just in my mind, but you can think for yourself. I'm just saying, say, cr Christianity is a mechanism control. I think I said the right there, the big word, mechanism control. All right, now. But thou shalt not lie, but the Bible is full of lies, all right? They will out fear you. I read the book and got pissed off at myself for falling for the oak. I'm Why well, I was so mad around this I was so mad and my memory is so good to remember all the things I have not been taught during that time to where I was on shows and radio shows and debating people every chance I got about it because after a while I stopped debating scripture and I started debating common sense. I started debating reality, common sense, logic. That's it. And there are certain ways that you can start off those type of conversations and, and there, there's a few tactics just off one word, one, one statement, you will know you've already won the discussion or debate just from that person else. I was always good at it, but I got out of it, you know. And then I was just like, you know what? It's not a lot of people's fault the belief that they have. So I had to let up on a lot of my Christian brother, brothers and sisters. You know, do you. It's just life. It is what it is. I'm not upset with y'all. I'm just upset with society. And, well, well, society has forced people to teach their children something that has not been proven. Now, as me, as an atheist, I cannot prove that there is no God, but I'm not the one making the claim. So the one who makes the claim should be able to prove that there is a God. That's all I'm saying. People, listen, I appreciate y'all rocking with a player, but we're going to go ahead on and bounce because I do want to come on back with something else because I slacked yesterday, but I was in my feelings. I hadn't got depressed and stuff, and I like to be in good spirits when I'm doing this here because I do believe in people need to laugh and be able to escape their own lives and stuff like that, and plus I'm trying to purchase some other things I hear that I can't talk about. But, um... So I was doing like a lot of that. And I just want to say thank you to all y'all. I, I will be back. That's why I did this a little earlier. So I have time to get 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 like some other stuff and um then come on back and give y'all something to say, I believe in my wife. That's what's up. That's what's up. And I and I do think that you believe in your wife, you have had beliefs in your wife on a lot of different things and maybe they've came to f fruition, 
fruition. Fruition, shit. I'm a, don't judge me. So I'm educated or something like that. Because we all put belief in certain things, which I do understand the word belief. I get it. I get it. But when you're talking about an omnipresent, uh, omniscient, some beginning and end, the alpha and omega, your shit is simple. Show yourself. That, that, that's it for me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You say the Bible is the most, the Bible is the most violent book I've ever read. I had to stop. Listen, I advise people, I implore you, big word, to read your book for yourself. Once you do that, and then you let me know how much you really believe. Because I got partners right now that'll tell me, hell, I believe in God, and, but I don't believe in the whole book. And I like to explain to them, because in the book it said that the Lord, God, 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 God put on folk hard to go out on to write this book. So God told, God inspired people, because inspired is the word that is used, inspired people to write this, to put this together, make a compilation album, basically, and give to the people. You don't believe in the whole Bible, then you don't believe in that, that con uh, the concept of that God of the Bible. You just can't. Y'all hit that like button. Listen, we finna go ahead on and bounce. I done rolled for a good hour. I appreciate y'all for rocking with a player. And I'm gonna be back later. I'm gonna be back later. I'm out of here. Peace.